Hello my fellow gamers and welcome once again to Pera Philosophy City, City Let's Plays. Today I am going to start up my second city. In a landslide of votes you have voted for a circular design. Therefore that is the design that I am going to use. So first I need to claim this plot. I need to start up this city so that I can send the couple of million that I am going to need to make it right off the bat and not have to go slowly. Important thing to remember when you are claiming a new city, when you come online into it the first time you have to first connect the road a little bit just so that the city gets unlocked and then just wait for all the unlocks from the other city to be unlocked in this city. If you leave too soon you might end up with a city plot that cannot get any unlocks from the neighboring cities. Now that this city has all the unlocks that have already been unlocked by the other cities, I can leave this city and go into my first city and send myself the 2 million or so that I'm going to need to start this city up properly. Now since I'm already in Silk Road, I might as well send all the service cards that I can to my second city. So that would be 4 fire trucks, 6 ambulances and 6 police cars. The power, the water and the sewage will be bought by the second city from my first city. The first city has a lot of extra power, water and sewage capacity therefore being able to supply the second city. The transportation hubs, the bus terminal and the train station I will use later on once I have a need for extra workers in my second city or maybe in the third city. That is also the time when I am going to raise this last piece of this city up to medium density when I actually need those workers. Because at the moment I do not need them and they would just cause unemployment in this city. But once other cities start needing those extra workers I am going to get them as unemployed and then send them off their way using the transport hubs to the other cities for employment. Now let's send my new city some money. I'm going to gift myself 1 million at a time just in case the game decides to screw me over and I do not lose all the money if that happens. Now I will go to the second city and see about receiving this money. There we go, the gift is here. Now let's go get the other million. Send in the second gift right now. There we go, the second gift is here. Now I just remembered that I forgot to send myself the garbage trucks. So let me buy the power, water and switch from my first city and then I just have to pop back in to send the garbage trucks. Now that is pretty much it. I can start building my road network for the second city. Ok now I seem to have figured out that I made a little bit of a mistake. I forgot that these roads are not supposed to connect and I didn't notice that they did connect. Now this is not part of my design so I am going to have to delete all of these avenues. For the fifth time I believe I have already managed to spend half a million trying to get this right so I had to send myself half a million more from my first city. So let's give this a sixth attempt. For the sake of the length of this video I am going to cut pretty much most of the part where I failed miserably to make this properly but I will leave a small piece for you to watch. Ok so attempt number 6. Get the two diagonals in the middle of the city. Take a road straight to the edge. Actually this time I'm going to go down here onto this edge because I'm trying to get 
this avenue not to intersect with these two avenues because for the love of god maxis why can't i delete these things jesus christ that's annoying so much trouble because you cannot shorten these entrances anyhow let's try this again Okay, that's a bit too far. I can probably use more of this space. Let's see. Okay, this should be just about perfect. Okay, about that size. About this size. To the definite edge. Okay, let's see if this works. So far it looks so good. Ah god damn it! <sighs> this is getting frustrating. Why am I having a problem making this? I don't get it. Why do I have so much of a problem making this when I've already made it from the first try? I just don't bloody hell get it. Try it like this. I think I finally got it right. About goddamn time. Now let's see about the inner ones. Arc road from one edge to the other. Let's see. Oh, looks like these can be used, and they are much more precise than drawing it by hand with the curvy roads. So I'm going to use the arc tool and try to match the guides. Okay, looks good so far. Let's go for the last one. There we go. Now all I have to do is check if there is enough space for medium density between these two avenues, between all of these rings. Looks promising. So, now that I have finally, after spending 700,000, managed to make these simple three rings, Let's get to the other parts of this road system for the city. We start with the tunnels on the edges of the map. So, avenue to the edge, an arced road for the other edge, and from here I need to start up the tunnel. Straight up here, and then press N to get me a tunnel. Looks good so far. Exits here. Very good. Now curved road to the right. That's one done. Now let's go to the other side. There we go. The bridge over here. As high as it will go, so I can have sims living under it. Now I need to connect. Now what was it? The left side was connected on the upper ring, the right side on the ring below. So let's go with this one first. Now this should make it possible. 
to be a bridge. There we go. There is enough space here for a couple of buildings. Now to this side, it has to go over the avenue and inside the string. might even be possible to do it with a curved one, but I'm not entirely sure will it work. That worked out pretty nicely. Now I need to go as a tunnel down here. There we go. A tunnel down here, a connection here. Now there are two more tunnels that I need. And that's done. Three tunnels with the starting two makes five. Now I need the bridges that will connect the inside to the outside. I need first some avenues here in the middle. And then raises to go to the left side. As high as it will go, that's about that much. On to the right side. That's it. And now just this one that goes down here. There we go, the T intersection. And now between these two, but below the bridge, a connection for the middle and the inner one. Now I believe that would be all the avenue connections that I have had to make. Now this is looking pretty ugly. Damn you Maxis, can't you fix simple bugs like this? <sighs> so annoying. Okay, now I need to get the edges here done. For this I will need the help of the tall three rows so I can get the exact distance from the avenue to get a medium density building to build here. There we go. They go straight and then there is a little curved piece uh, right at the intersection. Now I need three more just like it. And there we go. Four corners have been filled with these small areas of these triangles and now I believe I just need to connect these streets that went in between these rings. I think I started going through them like this. One right here, third and the fourth. I believe that these streets that I need to connect are right about here. There are two here. I could use a connection over here. And one could work here, but I'm trying not to have the four-way intersection here. This one is really close to these two, so I think I will leave it unconnected. It's not that necessary at all. Well, that would be the road design for the city. Now, I did make one single change between this design and the original design. So whoever notices the difference first and writes it in the comment section gets to name the city. Now that would be all for this episode, thank you all for watching and please stay tuned for more.